guys and welcome back to my latest tutorial now in today's tutorial we are going to have some fun and we're going to be creating these really cute well i think they're really cute as uh, sort of like stylized selfies we're going to be using niji server or you can also add niji at the end of your prompt in discord and uh here's i'm using my own selfies obviously you know i didn't want to scare you too much so i used some all the images that I had, but yeah, this is what we're going to be creating. Now, before we get started, I have to say that um, this has been possible thanks to this wonderful lady who has shared step-by-step -step instructions how to do this. So her name is Miss Unicorn, and she basically shared it with us how she did that. And um, I had so much fun this morning, guys, I can't tell you. Guys, so I will pop this link underneath this video it's in prompt FAQs and I really also recommend, you know, having a, having a look at this prompt uh, frequently asked questions because you learn something new every day and there's just so much information about how to um, sort of, you know, well, it's basically if you are looking to improve your V6 skills then you really should take a look at this. There's also a lady that I follow called Clarinet and she's doing amazing, amazing tutorials on how to use v6 effectively okay guys so let's get started guys step one so we're going to be selecting our favorite selfie uh so basically i'm just going to head over to my discord right now um, because I quickly show you if I want to um, sort of do it in uh, Mid Journey website, Alpha website. When you click on these, um, we do not have the option um, of Niji to add here. Yeah, so there's just the six and all the five versions. And of course, we can add Niji at the end as a parameter, but um, I have a much easier way to do it in Discord because I've actually got a Niji bot. So Niji bot is right here, guys. Yeah, so you can actually, I don't remember how I got it here, but somehow I did. And I still sort of like go to messages and I message the bot directly um, because I prefer it that way. So guys, what I did first, so let me just quickly show you what I did. So this is the, um, this is the uh, picture that I've chosen. And as you saw, I also did um, did this one. Yeah. So sort of when wanted to show you two different ways. So this is obviously more of a selfie and this, this is sort of like more of a, like a setting as well. So I wanted to see how it does with both. Guys, step two, run your selfie in the Niji bot or add the parameter at the end of your prompt in Discord using the scribe command. So I'm sure, you know, all of you are familiar with the scribe feature, but I just want to quickly show you how I sort of add it because the lady also recommends using expressive style. So I just want to make sure that my Niji bot is set to expressive style. So this is how I do it. So I just go to settings, just like you would do with me journey bot. And I just want to make sure, so the Niji version, and I also have expressive style here. Yeah. Uh, so make sure that that's, that's on and now you can get started. Okay. So let's have a look at that step again. So we're going to be running ourselves in the Niji bot using this type command. So basically very simple. I'm just going to uh, press um, describe. Where is it here? And I'm going to pop my um, my original selfie, guys. Yeah. So this is this is the original selfie. I'm just going to um, run it through the system. And because obviously I've already done it, so I just want to go up and show you <laughs> show you what it did the first time. Um, because obviously then you can rerun every single option that it gives you. So I did it here. So it did it gave me all sorts of options. Some of them uh, were quite funny. So I can just show you in a minute. Yeah, so a woman holding a glass of water. I I rerun basically all of them. So I imagined all. And here are some of the results. So this is uh, very strange. Um, these are some results. Then we're going to go on to here. So again, this is something that um, didn't <laughs> didn't really wasn't what I expected. This neither. 
So, you know, like you do have to rerun your prompts a couple of times and, you know, if ne if necessary, also redo the describe feature. Uh, guys, the second selfie I did in exactly the same way. So I went here, describe, and I popped my image the second one. So guys, this is quite a few years back. Um, but it was sort of like more of a selfie and I felt it was quite clear. So let's just do that to describe it. And, and of course, guys, I already done it. So let me just go up and show you. This actually performed better, I think, because it was sort of like clearer and uh, um, well, it was it was better to work, but it still gave me quite a fun result. So this is the one. Um, it, again, it gave me full describe parameters and prompts, and I actually rerun all of them. Um, so I'm just going to show you what it gave me. This <laughs> this was quite funny. Uh, maybe in the 80s I looked like this. I don't know. Um, then we have this one. So this lady, for some reason, is holding a picture in each hand, which obviously I don't, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, then I have these ones. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, this this on a um, on the top left could have been me back in eighties or seventies. <clears throat> so that was quite fun to see that, and um, also it gave me this one. So yeah, <laughs> I mean yeah. Um, okay, so guys, in the next part, I will show you the ones that I've chosen, and then the next step. So in step three, we are going to pick the image from the results that Niji gave us that we like the most. So for some reason, I wasn't able to actually upload it into Canva. So I'm just going to show you like this. So my chosen ones were this one and this one. Also, I find with Niji, um, with Niji, I have more of a problem, you know, because it does tend to want to save it as a web file. So guys, if it happens to you, if it wants to save it as a web file, just replace that with .png, but it's still for some reason it wasn't uh, responding. So these are the ones that I've chosen. Obviously, they are very cartoonish, but that's what we want. And let's go over to step four. Guys, so in step four, we're going to be doing some fun blending. So blend your original selfie with the one you just picked using blend command. So guys, quickly, I'm going to show you again how to do that. So basically, you're just going to put blend here and uh, it gives us uh, the option of <clears throat> uploading up to four images, but I'm just going to do two. I think that's plenty. So let me just first do this one and then the original one. So it's this one and I'm going to press enter. And I'm also going to re-blend the, um, the other one. So this one, the one I chose, and this one. So where is it? This one. Yeah. And let's see what it gives us. That's the step four. Guys, welcome to step five. And this is the fun part. We are going to be picking our favorites. Okay, let's have a look what it gave us. Okay, so these are the new ones that I just did with you. So this is obviously based on the original selfie, the uh, in a white shirt. What do you guys think? Um, I think they're quite similar. I mean, this is, um, I, I see myself in this. Um, obviously, I, I don't know what you guys think. And I would also love to see other people's results. So this is me holding too much wine. Um, <laughs> and in some images, I don't know. Uh, it's not really me, but let's have a look what else we have got. Um, so this one is quite nice. <laughs> Again, the wine bottles everywhere. Um, this one. Yeah, so you, you get quite a quite a, a lot of good results to choose from. Uh, obviously, Niji is very, very generous, as we can see. And uh, I just sort of like want to show you some grids. So yeah, this one. I think it's quite good. I think it's doing a good job. I mean, of course, we can rerun it as many times as we want. But, um, you know, I'd love to hear what you guys think. What, what do you think about this cool tool, you know, to create some fun um, selfies of us? Let me know in the comments, guys. And if you love the content that I'm creating, please like and subscribe.